Okay, real quick, I'm going to try to get a different group of Leos because I just am. Because I just love you guys. All right? So, let's see what we got. My Leos, my Leos, a new group of Leos. Hopefully. Hold on. New group of Leos. My hands just got really heavy. Okay. So we got the two of earth. Okay. Um, too much going on at one time. You need to make a decision. You need to think of a better approach is what they're saying. At the bottom of the deck, you know, we have the, the ten of fire. Again, too much work, too much going on. They're saying accept help from others. Your life is out of balance. It's stress-related. There could even be health concerns right now, okay? Um, for those who are having financial difficulties, it's about to get better. But with this, okay, um, very, very unbalanced, and you're not seeking help from anybody. You're actually turning your back from help right now. Got too much going on. You need to rest. You need to rest. You do have money coming in. You have a new opportunity somewhere. You know, you, you want to be challenged. You want to move forward. But it's there. Once again, they're saying it's too much. It's too much. Both of these cards are saying it's too much. It's the first sentence out of the whole word. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. <laughs> you know, like, whoa. And I told you, and it's funny because I think I, I'm almost positive. I, I don't know if I said it to myself or not, but I almost said to myself, like, whoa, this deck is heavy. My arms got heavy. Like, this is a lot. Whatever this is. Please ask for help. Tell me about this tour. Matching, because sometimes, you know, you gotta, you have to carry the weight and learn how to juggle and balance and ground yourself, okay? So, I'm not saying necessarily you have to release or anything in that direction, but I'm just saying, like, you have to come up with something. You have to accept help. There's something. Um, we have the Ace of Swords with perception and love. And the Ten of Wands again. So two Ten of Wands. I, I, I mix these well. Um, so it's it's all correlating, okay? You, you, I think for those who chose to get back into this situation because of the love, you, you're carrying too much weight. If you want to make this work, because remember I told you some of you can make this work. This is what this is. You guys got to talk about it. You have to change your perspective. When, when you get into something after something, a huge mishap or whatever happens it's so important that it's handled differently okay this love is not necessarily going to keep this alive okay because now it's becoming a strain on the two of you why because you went in it you went into it the same way see what i'm saying like yeah you said you're you know bygones be bygones forgiving all that stuff but you know we're going to do things differently is what we're going to do it we're going to do it you're not. You didn't, though. So it's still iffy. You're still in an iffy situation. Before you had the two, the two, the, uh, it doesn't matter. I don't want to talk about that one. Okay, this is, this is your read. So what's going on is you're trying real hard to communicate and talk about it because the love is there. But at the end of the day, it is still too much. Between work, love, career, every aspect of your life, I'm telling you, if you don't be careful here, it's going to affect your health. It truly will. It's already affecting your chakra. It's already affecting your nervous system. It's already affecting you. And tell me about this perception. You have to change. If that's what I'm saying, if the two of you... If the two of you are not desiring the same thing, because now we got desire, so now is it really desire? Is it one of those things that I talked about, like, oh, I win? I hope not, because I know there's a lot of love here, but at the same time, 
What this is saying to me, clear as day, is it truly what you want? Regardless of the love, is it truly, truly what you want? This is tough because it's I feel like I don't feel like it's a mutual desire I feel like it's a one-sided desire and I think the universe is trying to get you to see that I feel like with the page of earth they want you to kind of go off on your own here Nurture yourself. Go off on your own. Because if you look, you only got this one eye looking at you. All these other eyes are looking in different directions. Like, it, it's it's like there's only one person has this desire to really, to really make this work, unfortunately. I mean, it can still be saved. But it's it's got to be an instant change, okay? Instant. You have to switch it up instantly. You got to talk about it again. Are we going to do this? And if you are, you have to rebuild way different. And it's like, that's like an hour video to even get you to take those steps. Right now, you need to lay some weight down. I mean, it's, it's being thrown in your face twice. It's like the fight, you guys aren't really fighting. But you will, you will start to fight again if this is not mutual. Um, tell me about this Ace of Swords. You need to come up with a, a different decision, okay? You guys are not agreeing on something. There's something that is just... You're not. But here's the thing with this playful approach. And that's looking over at desire. And that talks about play. Some of you guys' intimacy is not that great. That needs to be shifted as well. Okay. It's like a death and a rebirth for the Ace of Swords. So it's like you guys went through this transformation. Or somebody did. And the other one just hasn't caught up yet. If that makes sense. So even though you're trying, 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 there's still there's still a lot of things out of balance, different aspects of your life. I'm telling you, if the intimacy is not that great, you you have to get on that. And if you don't have it in you, then it's just it's gone. This box gone. It happens. I don't know if you can salvage it because. <sighs> to me, this love is straight up self-love. Do you have enough self-love for you right now? Is this truly what you want? I mean, it's screaming to me. Is this truly, 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 truly what it is you want? And I don't read these reverse, but it was the Ace of Wands reverse with the Queen of Air reverse. Like, see what I'm saying? Like, some of you do want this, though, but it's it's more you're holding on to something, you know. It, it's you guys are in the midst of it. I feel like at one at one point this connection was was beautiful. And it's it's not over. I'm just saying, like it's on the verge. A decision needs to be made by the two of you, not just one. The two of you. Someone's still holding on to something. But, gosh. All right. Well, that's too many. That's too many. All right. But we do have... If I can take them. Great. Take them. Now I got to look at the bottom. We got justice. Is there equality here? Is there balance? Is there justice? Seven of Pence. Has there been progress? Is there progress? Because it looks like we got a lot of guilt with this Five of Cups. Somebody's got a lot of guilt. Like, there's just that progress is just, it's not there. 
And if it's getting a little better, somebody's being extra nice because they feel guilty because of the situation. See what I'm saying? And again, it's taking me back to, do you really want this? Okay. Bottom of the deck. Now I got the queen of swords upright. You know, you just, what you want is something fair. But I don't think you're getting it. So if this is not a mutual, if there's no mutual effort here, please consider letting this go because we're stepping into a new energy field. It's super important. Okay. Please consider letting this go if this is not working for you right now. If you're not happy and the two of you are not working on it together, okay, then you got you to gotta let it go because they're, they're, this is what they're asking you. Is the equality, is the, is the duality, are the scales balanced out? Has there been progress? Is this worth the investment? Or do you just feel bad leaving? Or what if this is the person you're with and it's their energy and they, and they don't, you, maybe you guys got a family and, and they don't want to leave you because they don't, they don't want to see you hurt again. They didn't mean to hurt you, but it happened because a connection, there was some type of connection that just, it just happens sometimes, guys. But if you guys are both putting the effort in, then that's great. Continue to put the effort in. Show the other one love. If the intimacy is a little like this, work on it. Okay? I'm telling you right now, please, please, please get some rest. There's too much going on at one time. Too much. I, it's, it's chaos. I, it's going to affect your health sooner or later. It truly, truly is. Please consider that too. All right. Um, I'm going to pull you one lesson card. I wish you guys the best. I, I really hope it can work out. But I'm telling you, if you're truly not happy, and it is, it's not an even give and take, step into the light. Okay? Lesson for my Leos with this situation. You know, patience. I accept everything happens in divine order. All right? Death. I know that endings are nearly new beginnings. So again, it's both. Someone's just fearing loneliness. Someone's just fearing <clears throat> that this is going to end. But the, the universe, at the same time, what the universe is saying here, because it's, it's not like patience, it, it all happens in divine order like you're thinking. Have patience on yourself. It takes time to heal. The, you know, an ending is just a new beginning. How do you know in a year from now you won't get back together? You just don't know. You know what I'm saying? But this is have patience on yourself because you're lonely. You're with somebody, but you're still lonely. See what I'm saying? I'm going to clarify this patience now, though. Tell me about patience, which I, I, I never do, but I feel like I need to so you can understand what this is truly saying to you. Patience, please, patience. Wow. It's a six of cups. Okay. Have patience with this person. So <clears throat> well, you need to have patience on you, but you have union. But this is not union as in the two of you come together. This is a spiritual union. I said, wow, because this is, you're about to be going on your life path and this is a path you've lived before. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. <sighs> You're about to do something that you've done in a previous life. So if it seems really familiar to you, it's because it went down like this before and something held you up. And I don't know if it was the ending. So I don't know if it's one of these things where you went through the breakup. You're ready for this brand new. It didn't work. You're about to come into union with the divine. Some of you, this is the second chance, okay? But do you really want it? Because I'm telling you, the divine got you right now, and you need to accept that things happen in a divine order. So if it went down, 
with your soulmate, then it went down. Could it take place again in like six months, a year, six months, uh, six years? Yes. But right now it's saying it was it's done. It probably won't last. It's, <laughs> it's learning that, you know, endings are new beginnings. Have patience on yourself. Like this is huge. Whoever this is for, you're going on a divine mission. Like this is not the average, like... They're putting you somewhere because you have not been happy. And the inter this is like beyond intervention. This is, you're, you're worth so much to the divine that this interference is, is so important. It's, it's not the average interference. This is, they got you. And you know something's up. Trust your inner voice. It will always lead you in the right direction. So use your intuition. Ladies and gents, is this truly, truly, truly what you want? Some of you, it's not over quite yet. So some of you, yeah, it could be okay. Others, is it truly what you want? I love you guys so much. Have a great night. Bye, guys.